Hello dear students, ISI MSQ is subjective 2024 ka solution here. First of all, I have a question. Consider a used car market uh, with 600 uh, buyers each willing to buy exactly one used car and 500 sellers uh, each having exactly one used car. So out of the 500 used cars, 400 good quality and bad quality is also 11 or 100. Uh, the money to, the valuation of owning a peach is 100 and rupees 50 for seller on the other hand the monetary valuation of owning a lemon is rupees 10 uh, from both buyer and seller seller knows whether the car so seller has the more information whereas the buyer knows there are 400 peaches and 100 lemons okay so what is the maxi what my uncle maximizes the aggregate surplus of the economy provide a clear explanation to your answer so outcome that maximizes the aggregate surplus of the economy is in the scenario one where the market efficiency distinguishes between peaches and lemons. Okay. So market is efficient if it is distinguishes between lemons and peaches. Okay. So this is a separating equilibrium on the context of the information economics. So in this situation, buyer have uh, incomplete information about the quality. You know, uh, of the used cars while the seller has a full information so given the valuation provided for peaches buyer's valuation is 100 seller's valuation is 50 for lemons both buyers and sellers valuation is 50 I'm sorry 10 so separating the equilibrium involves seller setting different prices for peaches and lemons so here by how it works so sellers of the peaches should set uh, prices closer to peach prices closer to 100 reflecting the higher value that buyers place on peaches the signal buyers that uh, cars are likely of a good quality sellers of lemon should uh, go for for lemons relatively closer to 10 that's a bad quality in equilibrium and buyers are willing to buy at 100 a good quality and the lemons are for 10 so as a result buyers will value 100 uh, value the cars at 100 will purchase from sellers pricing uh, at or closer to 100 ensuring they get a peach and buyers who value 10 will go for the lemons so this separating equilibrium this is the ensuring case okay this is the maximizing situation uh, that cars highly pay higher prices and receive higher quality that's the peaches and for low payment low quality that is here so derive whether the with a clear explanation the supply of used cars as a function of price draw a supply curve by plotting the number of used cars in the x and y axis you must label the important points in the figure clearly okay so here Uh, just put it like this number of used cars and this is like the price okay so this is 10 50 100 now in this case okay <coughs> so in this case The market scenario uh, in the used car market scenario, the supply of used cars depends on the valuation of the cars by the sellers, and they go for the quality. So, valuation of owning a peach is 50. Okay, so therefore, any seller who with a peach will be willing to sell a car at get uh, equal to 50. So, a seller of lemon will go for owning a lemon at uh, 10. So therefore any seller with lemon will be willing to sell the car at a price greater than or equal to 10. So at this price uh, 10, no seller will be willing to sell their car. So at the price, so less than 10, no sale. 10 to 50, only lemons. Greater than 50, uh, peach. So 400 car is pieces so it will be willing for ness of the sailor so the supply uh, curve in this case can be drawn in this way this is 
scenario. So for 10, this is the 50. The first uh, zero is here. This is the hundred, and this is the five hundred. So, at price ten, so P less than ten, supply is zero. Ten P less fifty, supply is hundred cards of lemons. At P equal to fifty, this is a vertical jump supply from hundred to five hundred. Okay, uh, anywhere between. above 50 or you can just put it in this way pre greater than equal to 50 okay so this first part done b1 derive the clear explanation uh, the demand for used cars as a function of the price draw the demand curve in the same as in the part one you must label the important points in the figure clearly okay so here in this case the valuation of the own car in the peach is 110 so probability of getting a peach is zero point eight. Probability of lemon is zero point two. So the expected value of the used car eighty two. So therefore, a buyer will be willing to buy a used car at a price less than or equal to 82. So, willing to buy will be less than or equal to 82. So, demand for used cars as a function of a price can be derived as follows. So, here this thing is P above 82, 0, no buyer. At a price 0 to 82, all buyers. So, the demand curve in this way we can plot this part. So, 10, then 50, then 82, and then 100. And this is the demand, and this is the supply structure 0, 100. And this is 500. So total 600. Now the third question here is use the demand and supply function now to find out the possible competitive equilibria in the lemon and peach. So positive equilibrium is insertion at 100, comma 10, and intersection will be at. And 500 comma 50. So this is the demand. So you had equilibrium 1 intersection at 110, P equal to 10, Q equal to 100 cars. Okay. Given that price of 10 and 50, only uh, uh, sellers with lemons are willing to sell their cars. So this equilibrium represents a situation where only lemons are treated uh, in the market, trade in the market. So in the equilibrium 1, this is the case. Equilibrium 2 intersection at 500 comma 50. Okay, so here in this case P equal to 50, Q equal to 500. So since at a price greater than uh, equal to 50, all sellers sell their cars. This equilibrium represents a situation with both peaches and lemons are traded in the market. So in summary, two possible competitive equilibria is used in this equilibrium 100 comma 10 and then 500 comma 50. Next. Now suppose the buyer uh, also knows the identity of all cars, so use the similar demand supply in all possible competitive equilibrium used in this scenario. So valuation of owning a peach will be 100. And this will be lemon. So valuation of selling is so this is a demand. 
supply is selling a peach this thing so separate demand and supply structure will be done over here so demand for lemons at 10 will be zero so demand for lemons will be dl demand for lemons will be zero at p greater than 10 at 0 to 10 demand for lemons will be 600 car as means buyers will buy lemons at this price or this okay supply of uh, and for demand for peaches also dp is price more than 100 demand equal to 0 and uh, demand equal to 600 at 0 to P200. Similarly, we can do it for the other two part and we can do it here. Okay, so the intersection equilibrium will happen. Price for, for peaches it will be P equal to 100, Q equal to 400 and for lemons P equal to 10 equal to 